be a little bit of anger because in their mind it's just like <laughs> they love him so much but I'm his wife and nobody knows my name you're right Jennifer we did it you know why well the media among the fact the, the, the Hollywood elites they did but the public we didn't I didn't know unless you googled it and got those down do you know why Jennifer because his name protected you and your girls <laughs> nothing touched you now now you thought now you think that gotten so high that you don't need him anymore? Is that what you think, Jennifer? <laughs> when I look at women like this, I am so saddened by them. And I shake my head. I feel so sad for them because they don't know it. Their lives are never going to be the same. And it's not going to be for the better. It's not going to be for the better. That's why I'm a big proponent of keeping the family together. I've never heard of Mr. Stallone abusing her or the kids. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He's a good guy. She has taken advantage of this good guy's reputation and status. And now she is fighting for money that he'll give it. But I'm just like, I've never seen you in any Rocky movie. Ma'am, were you in Rambo? Were you in the helicopter? Like, were you hiding behind the seat? And I didn't know. Did you help him load the ammunition? Like, this man is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And she is upset. That he is spending money. No, who's his money? <laughs> I understand what you ladies may say. And it's the it's a mar it's a marital assets and everything. But listen, let's let's be honest. He met her after he did Rocky, Rambo, all of that good stuff. You know, you understand what I'm saying? We're talking 25 years. We're not talking 35, 40, 45. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's get a clue here. Let's not. Let's not play games. So what I want to tell you, as a woman, I want you to look at these women in these high-profile high status levels and watch how they regard their husbands, their men. America has made marriage a mockery. No longer are the vows for better or for worse. It's now for better or until, until I can do better on my own, until I can read around the right amount of time that I can get as much assets as I can of his, until I have enough of his children, that I'll be okay for the rest of my life, until I can get enough money, alimony. Do you understand? It's, it's 
it's no more for better or for worse. It's for better or until. Until I can do better. For my damn self. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. Thank you for your family's name. Thank you for you and your family's protection. Yeah, but see ya. Thanks. A bunch. Thanks. Let's see how that plays out, shall we? All right, man, I'm going to let you go. I have something else to discuss and put it under another podcast. Sometimes I just, I'm in a mood to podcast, so let me take advantage of that right now. Amen. As a woman, as a wife, you have a good man, cherish him. I said, cherish him. And please don't, like so many of you women do, take him for granted. <laughs> You're going to regret it, okay? I love taking.